So today we're going to change the oil in the filter on the Kimco UXV500i. I've got it backed up on the ramps because I've got a snowplow on here right now getting ready for winter. And we've got our oil filter ordered off of Amazon and oil filter wrench and oil and you need a 17 millimeter socket to remove the oil plug underneath you need to take this driver's seat out and we'll do that and I'll show you where the filter is you also need to remove the center console it goes over your shifter you have to take the shift knob off right here and that's an allen screw and then Right here is the oil filter. The oil filler cap right here. And you'll need a funnel, of course, to get in there. And then right next to that, you've got your view window where you can see exactly how much oil is in your machine and this takes 3.8 quarts so that's what we're going to use we're going to put synthetic in it and see what happens I have had to replace the starter several times on this right here uh, I don't know if they're just chintzy or what but I've had to replace uh, two times, and I'm probably looking at a third time on it. Maybe during winter, I don't know. Okay, so I've got my oil filter wrench on here right now. And it's, it's turning. It is pretty stiff. So... Of course, you can see all the dust in there. Oh, this machine gets daily use. I'm going to put a rag down below it before we completely take it off so that we uh, have somewhere to drip to. So it, it took about five turns with the wrench to get it where I can handle it by hand. There's not a whole lot of oil in there. But you want to clean that all off, make sure there's no gunk on it. You can see where the oil dripped down. And then we're going to go ahead and drain it underneath. And here from underneath you can see the access hole and in that hole are two bolts and the one on the right is your drain plug and that's the one you want to loosen and I believe it's a 17 millimeter so that's what we're going to do now we're going to get up here and take that out and I've got a little drain pan here uh, made from a, an old whale container. And that's a pretty long bolt, that plug. And you can see we're draining the oil into our container here. And we'll just let it drain until it's completely empty, and then we'll come back and do our filter and put the plug back in it's pretty simple and I, I like that access hole here just letting it all drain down in there it's kind of a slow fill with the funnel And you 
put your oil fill cap back on. And that fill window, I, I tell you, it's, I don't know, to me it's pretty much useless. You can't really see it. So, we'll give it a minute here and we'll get her started up. Here's the oil filter I got. That's what I used. Uh, we ordered it on uh, Amazon. So that does it for the oil change on the uh, Kimco UXV500. And, you know, I bought these filters on Amazon. Well, my wife did. And it was $12 for two. So you can't beat that. And I put in the synthetic oil. Got that at O'Reilly's, it was $29. So, keeps it running. And it keeps it running good. Easy to do. Any questions, comments, uh, leave it down there in uh, our description. And let us know what you think of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.